Hello, my name is Chris Ampier and I'm here with your Miami Market Focus update for August 2015. Miami-Dade County residential sales rose nearly 3% year over year in August, while median sale prices for single family and condominium properties continue their upward trend. This is according to a new report by the Miami Association of Realtors. Miami single family transactions remain on pace to finish as one of the top sales years on record in county history. And despite continued competition from South Florida's strong pre-construction market, Miami's existing condos are seeing more sales and more active listings. In August, Miami single family home purchases decreased a negligible 1% year over year. Existing condominium sales increased 6.5%. An improving jobs market, historic low mortgage rates, and Miami's reputation as a world-class global city continue to attract domestic and international home buyers who want to live, work, and play in one of America's most dynamic regions. Miami's residential sales prices remain a bargain compared to other global cities. As you can see in this historical analysis graphic, Miami's current median sales prices remain significantly lower than 2007, the county's peak for prices. Single-family home prices, which again increased in August, remain at 2004 levels despite four years of consistent year-over-year -year increases. Condo prices also increased in August, marking growth in 50 of the last 51 months. Miami single-family homes spent 38 median days on the market, while condominiums spent 64 days. The average percentage of original list price received was 96.1% for single-family homes and 93.2% for condos. Miami's percentage of cash buyers remains more than double the national average. This is a telltale sign of South Florida's strength in attracting international buyers as they typically pay all cash for properties. 49.6% of all Miami closed sales were made in all cash in August 2015. Compare that to the national average of 22%. Distressed property transactions declined in Miami in August due to fewer short sales and foreclosures. Only 25.7% of all closed residential sales in Miami were distressed, compared to 34.3% in August 2014. Active listings at the end of August increased 2.6%. The listings remained 60% below 2008 when sales bottomed. Inventory of single family homes decreased 6.4% while condominiums saw a 7.8% rise. At the current sales pace, there is a five month supply of single family homes and an 8.7 month supply of condominiums. Now let's get to the latest new construction market status report. The following statistics cover Miami-Dade County pre-construction condos east of Interstate 95. The pre-construction condo website cranespotters.com and Miami released this report on September 14th. 26 towers with 570 floors and 3,098 units have been completed in Miami-Dade County east of I-95 in the four years since 2011. This graphic also contains a breakdown of condo projects that are under construction, planned, and proposed. Thank you for watching our August 2015 video update. To download, view, or study our Miami Day statistical reports, including new construction in Broward County data, visit sfmarketintel.com.